Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Geometry Dash Sub-Zero on PC using the brand new BlueStacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Geometry Dash Sub-Zero and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Geometry Dash Sub-Zero. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Before anything else buddies, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite internet browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to that URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type the URL, because there's a clickable link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. We arrived on this page on our site of Usability, exactly where we include a precise information on how you can obtain Geometry Dash Sub-Zero on personal computer. We browse lower a bit and press on the Download Game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we land here on the site of BlueStacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we are going to run to enjoy the game Geometry Dash Sub-Zero on PC. It is now obvious that we get a number of pros of running that emulator. Then, we are on the way to proceed to download the Geometry Dash Sub-Zero by simply clicking on the button play on BlueStacks that you can see here in green color. The step is clicking on this button. Of course, the download step starts and ends immediately. Voila, here is located the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to launch the executable file, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the laptop or device. We clicked yes. I reduced the web browser to find the installer significantly better. The installation software is very simple to use. It consists of two choices, install and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path does indeed. We simply click on it. Therefore we note that we have here the path where in fact the emulator is going to be installed. If we plan to vary this directory we must click on that Browse button, therefore we select another directory and set up the emulator specifically where we choose. To keep it simple, just keep it by default. Then, I click on Back. Therefore I pick Install. Fantastic. The install begins and it will carry on in the download of these MB which are displayed on the screen. The moment you download it, it might possibly be more or less MB. The data transfer speed could go faster or at a lower speed, determined by your type of connection and depending on the speed of the emulator servers. Immediately they are progressing very fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator has actually been started automatically. As you can see now, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar which will fill up and when it attains the finish, the emulator will be launched for the first time. The fact is that the emulator has been launched, here for the first time. Before we keep going, as you can observe, it created two software icons right here on the computer desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks icon is definitely the one we're concerned about. Whenever we desire to operate Geometry Dash Sub-Zero on our desktop or laptop, we twice click this specific software icon and consequently launch the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me conduct the next step, which is actually a requirement, and that is to log on to the Google Play Store. And we are going to just click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is presented. Right here we have to log on. Currently once we are on this page, we must definitely do this following step which is mandatory. Therefore we simply click on, sign in. At present it announces, checking info. It could sometimes get blocked in, checking info, additionally it does not advance. In this case, you may try to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it will usually be resolved. At present we're going to enter our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email address and its corresponding password. As an example you may use the exact same email you are using at the moment in your YouTube account. Thus I am going to submit my details and I'll go back when I have done it. That's all, info entered. Below is Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We can accept them simply by hitting, I agree. Then, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You can let it select it and it will make a backup of the data on this device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you can use this option if you want. We mouse click on accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is started by default and on autopilot. To set up the game, we have got to browse the emulator desktop by clicking on the icon indicated green colored. Currently that we are discovering the desktop of the Android emulator, we can see that we have right here the install application button. We click on this button. At this point we have got the game. How about we then click now on the install button that I'm just showing now in green. 
This will commence the installation. Straight away it is going to download on your PC and set up the game app. It may take a while or it could possibly be almost immediate. This all is going to depend on our own web connection. It's already ended setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking that option that I am emphasizing in green, so that you can use Geometry Dash Sub Zero for the first time. You are currently on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we are about to mouse click on that brand new Geometry Dash Sub Zero icon which has been generated. Your game app is launched for the first time. So there we have it, I can also press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to talk about the volume level of the emulator. It's right here. We have the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This manner we will not depend on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of your emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we can switch on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. That is simply the first one, we click on this particular software icon that I am identifying in green. Then the display screen is maximized, coming with one border on top, one at the right and the third one at the bottom. If ever we need to enjoy the application using all the screen, we click on this particular game icon. And we might at present be enjoying the Android game in 100% screen mode. To quit the 100% screen mode, press the F11 key. And we might at present be in regular display screen mode. From now, I am choosing to show you the computer keys mapping that is rather exciting. This way we will probably be capable to play the video game much more effortlessly. The first task is to click this app icon. And at this time there you will have the ability to make the recommended controls. I am going to let the standard configuration, but if you require to modify this, you may very well achieve it without having problem. Clearly, the emulator is entirely in our language. Occasionally it occurs that the emulator is started in the improper language, for example, in Chinese. And as a result to set it up in the proper language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus right here inside of other controls, we mouse click on the language, drop down. We can go with the language we prefer, English, Chinese, and so forth. When the language is selected, we should save, the emulator will restart, and also the game, next time we use it, will also be in the selected language. Presently, you can find another detail that we have to take into consideration, and it is that we will get an email saying that a new machine has been linked to this Google account. It should question us if we are the people who have connected that electronic device. Yup, we may not be troubled, considering that the emulator is behaving like an Android device. And in order to find which device is currently being emulated, we go here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. So we browse here to the, model, option. And now we learn that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for the video user demo. I sincerely hope you liked it, especially that everyone found it useful. If that's so, offer it a pleasant like, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer your remarks, concerns or ideas, leave them in the comment area down below. You could even comment things on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams ever so often, you get it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Click on any of these instructional videos which are usually showing up on the listing of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the following video game videos. Bye.